All right, find your comfortable seat. You can put whatever foot in front feels most comfortable to you. I want you to sit up nice and tall. I want you to take a moment and shrug your shoulders up to your ears and hold them here. We'll do this for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and release. We'll close our eyes. Breathe in and out through your nose. Softly open your eyes and we're going to start to do upper body circles. So lean to the left, come forward, and go over to the side, taking it nice and gentle, nothing too crazy and you're moving only as far as feels good to you. Really enjoy moving your body this slow and don't force yourself to go any further than what your body will allow. Keeping your hands on top of your thighs, right above your knees. Keeping your head upright. For those just joining, thank you for joining class today. Do this a few more times. This will be the last circle. And you'll come up right. Close your eyes. Let your palms go face up, sitting on your lap. and take five full breaths here.
Softly open your eyes. Switch which foot is in front. And now we'll get those upper body circles in the opposite direction. Now remember each side is different. You might feel stiffer on one side than you do the other. But be okay with that, whatever you feel. Acknowledge it and just breathe. Take your time, don't rush. And if you need to slow it down even more, feel free to do so. Really enjoy moving your body this slowly. We'll do this a couple of more times. This will be the last one. And you'll come back upright. Turn your palms face up, resting on your lap. Gently tilt your chin upwards on an inhale. And on the exhale, bow your chin towards your chest. Again, inhale up, exhale down. Inhale up, exhale down. Two more times. Last one. Let your head stay bowed down and you will walk your hands forward. Take one down first and then the other. And I want you to just place them on the floor. Now, if this is too much of a stretch, come up onto your fingertips, but again, have your chin towards your chest.
slowly walk your hands forward just a little. Rebow your head. Again, once more, walk your hands out, only going as far as is comfortable for you. Slowly using your hands, walk them back towards your body until you're all the way upright. Close your eyes. Take five full breaths here. Softly open your eyes, drop one forearm across your lap, take the opposite arm up towards the sky. Now we're not trying to reach over in that direction, we're just reaching up. Go ahead and sit upright. Take the hand that is up, place it behind you, and take your opposite hand to your opposite knee. So the forearm that was resting on the same leg as its side is now going across the front of the body. And you're in a gentle twist. Now if this twist seems a little too much, you can lessen it. You can, you can make it not be so twisty, for lack of a better term. It just needs to be gentle. Gently untwist, and we'll get this on the opposite side. So now let that opposite forearm, the one that was just behind you, rest on the same side, and take the other arm up. Again, we're not reaching towards the opposite direction, we're just reaching upwards. Slowly let that arm come down and let the other arm cross in front to give you a nice gentle twist.
slowly untwist. And I'm going to scoop forward and come up off of the blankets that I'm sitting on. And I'm going to bring the soles of my feet together. And they're not going to be really close to my body. I might scoop them in just a hair. And we're going to set the butterflies free. So you're just going to let your knees bounce up and down. You're going to close your eyes. And breathe normally. And it doesn't have to be a great big movement. You can, you know, you're just barely letting them move. You know, it doesn't have to be a big butterfly. Just a little bounce. now stop the butterfly. You're going to slowly come forward, placing your hands on top of your feet, and let your head bow forward. For those of you that can, you can walk your hands further away, but it's not required. We're not trying to make this an active pose. We're just trying to let ourselves go into it. Slowly and gently come back upright, and we're going to extend one leg forward and bring the other one up into the inside of that thigh. You're going to have your fingertips out away from you on either side. You're going to take a deep breath in, and on the exhale, you're going to walk your hands just a little bit forward and you're going to bow forward and you may not go very far and it's okay if you don't. Slowly and gently come back upright without changing your legs. You're going to gently twist towards the bent leg. and you're going to twist 
towards your straight leg, and you're just going to take the opposite hand to the outside of that thigh. Slowly come forward, and we're going to switch sides. So take the other leg out, let the other one come back in. Once you are situated, take a deep breath in. And on the exhale, walk your hands forward. Slowly and gently come upright and twist towards that bent leg. And yawn if you need to. Slowly and gently come out and go to the opposite side. Again, you're only going as far as you can comfortably go. Slowly untwist, take both legs out as wide as you comfortably can. Now is the time for your pillow or a couple of stacked blankets. We will inhale here and on the exhale just come forward, let your forearms rest on your bolster, or if you have a couple of pillows stacked up, you're not leaning that far forward. But we're going to hang out here for a while. So bow your head. And if you don't have a bolster, you can always prop up on to the seat of a chair, okay? So there's always options. And if you are propped up like on a chair, let your head rest on top of your forearms.
slowly and gently come back upright. We're going to bring our legs back in to crisscross applesauce, whatever is most comfortable for you. I want you to sit up nice and tall. We're going to drop one hand just out to the side and you're going to lean towards that side and take the other arm up. This time you're going to use your fingers, let them do the walking like they used to in the yellow book pages. Yes, I'm giving away my age. And just get a nice gentle side stretch. Slowly come back upright, taking the arm that's above, cross it over into another gentle twist. Only this time, we're going to turn our head and look over that front shoulder. Slowly untwist the body, and we'll get that on the other side. So take the opposite hand, place it on the floor first, then take the other arm up overhead, and then walk your fingers, only going as far as is comfortable to you. And if you feel you've gone too far, you can back it up. It's quite all right. And if having your hand over your head like this causes you issues in your shoulder or maybe you feel tingling or maybe your hand goes to sleep, bring it back behind you. Let the top of your hand rest onto your middle back. Maybe you can creep a little further over. Just, but do what feels good to you. Gently come up, leading with that top arm. Cross over in front and turn your head to look over the front shoulder. Slowly and gently untwist, and this time just walk your hands forward. Elbows are bent as you bow forward. Slowly and gently come back upright. And I want you to find yourself laying onto your back. I want you to take your time, be comfortable as you get there. And when you do lay down on your back, you can either lay completely flat or you can lay with your legs over the bolster, which is what I'm going to demonstrate. I'm going to move some of my blanket out of the way. And 
I want you to be as comfortable as you can. And let the back of your legs either rest on the floor or on the bolster or on the pillow. I want you to close your eyes. And again, find where you are most comfortable at. If you recall, I said something about getting a washcloth maybe to place over your eyes, but if you don't have one readily available, take your palms and rub them together, creating heat in your hands. And once you've created that heat, I want you to cup your hands over your eyes. And once they begin to lose their heat, let your arms fall away from your body, palms face up. As you're breathing, I want you to notice where your body makes contact with the floor, the back of your head shoulder blades, the backs of your arms, the backs of your hands, your low back. For those of you using a bolster or a pillow, go ahead and place your feet on top of it and then slide it over to the side. And then extend your legs out the length of the mat. Everyone should have their legs out long, feet fallen open. Slowly begin to wiggle your fingers and your toes. Maybe you rotate your ankles and your wrists. Go ahead and begin to bring your legs closer together as you stretch your body, as you begin to bend one knee followed by the other. Stretching as if you're waking up for the first time. And then let everything ragdoll. You're gonna scoot your hips over to one side and roll over onto the opposite side using your arms as a pillow for your head. You'll take a deep breath in and sigh it out. You'll take another deep breath in and 
inside out. On your next natural inhale, you will gently and slowly push yourself up to a seated, comfortable position. Take a moment, close your eyes, and you're going to do shoulder circles going back. And now you'll take them forward. And just pause. Open your arms wide and your eyes and then crisscross your arms in front and gently twist side to side. Making note of which arm is on top. Open wide once again. Crisscross. Bring your hands down to your lap. You will inhale up. And exhale to the heart. Two more times. Last one. The light in me honors the light in each of you. I hope that you all have a wonderfully blessed day. Thank you for joining me for yoga. Until next time, peace out.